Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How about now, folks? Can you hear us? Anything? Anything? Bueller? There we go. I can. Okay, I can hear cool. it now. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I can see the sound bumping. Yeah. So, all right. There we go. Cool. Now that Zoom there is we back. Go. Now that Zoom is back, we can re- well, it retell was- all. We could t- retell all of our jokes. Yeah. Like, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, right. Welcome to Get Ops Guide to the Galaxy. Sorry about that. Like, Christian was away. He came back. We were a little, a few seconds behind, and like everything glitched for me for a second. Yeah, yeah. And then we just jumped in, and it didn't look like uh, Zoom stuck with us there. Uh, so, apologies for that. So, Christian Hernandez is here. I'm Chris Short host with the most christian hernandez the the get ups guide to the galaxy captain here there uh, we go <laughs> i'll be your captain on this journey yeah right? as, as yeah, we were yeah, saying yeah. so um uh so yeah i'm doing yeah so in case you guys didn't hear chris asked how i was doing doing well excited about a few things right so excited about um uh kubecon coming up right yes. so um you know i'll i'll be there in person and if you can't well, make yeah, it in person, you there. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll be. Uh, it's still quite a drive. People don't understand how large California. Um, well, yeah, Los like Angeles the con- is. The country gets yeah. bigger the further west you go. I yes, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Because <laughs> I was talking to someone about like, oh yeah, like my daughter went to New York, you know, for the afternoon, and I was mm. like, wait a minute, we're in Boston. And he was like, well, yeah, technically you can take a train. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, here, here in LA you know, you can drive for two hours and still be in LA. So, yeah. it's, you know, I'm a local, Yikes. but, uh, <laughs> but the drive to downtown is going to be a, a big drive for me, but I'm still excited. I'll be there. It's a hybrid event. Um, so um, excited about that. Excited about the um, get ops con. Yeah. Right. Where I should, I should probably start uh, uh, sharing my screen here. Cause I do have, um, I'm trying to do the Sully thing of uh, oh, yeah topic topical sure stuff. what you're talking about what's your cpu up to you got something running in the background there i might let's let's see here i think it might be um is it probably zoom it's probably zoom it might be also chrome because you know how chrome likes to oh yeah yeah uh, maybe that'll that'll be better here let's let's check it out let's see here oh, no, cpu yeah. is xorg so well that's probably zoom yeah that's probably yeah it's probably zoom doing things here but yeah. um so here i'm also excited about a get con i mentioned it last stream here mm-hmm. um it is, is a day zero event right so um october 12th uh which is i think a tuesday there's two day zero events which is crazy i think i think well, uh, um, i think they're calling it like pre-event activities Pre-event? or something like oh, that because okay. it's not day zero anymore because there's two day zeros basically there's two day zeros yeah it's <laughs> yeah. zero and zero and double zero yeah. um and so uh this is october 12th which is tuesday uh you have um plenty of time to register if you can't make it live it's a hybrid event so you can mm-hmm. do it virtually um and just a kind of a quick shout out for for me i have a uh i have a keynote talk so if you, you do want to see me in yeah. person um, you know, I'll be talking about some cool stuff. I'm talking about actually pipeline as pipeline as code, right? Which is something nice. we kind of talk touched a little bit about uh, mm-hmm. about Tecton, maybe in in a future episode. After I do the, um, you know, after KubeCon, I'll I'll, I'll touch on it. But if you want to get a sneak peek of a pipeline as code and how it um, interacts, you know, how in in GitOps, right? How how it'll um, you know fits in 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 the GitOps methodology, um, right? Um, you know, tune in, right? Either virtually yeah. or um, if you're there, um, you know, feel free to say hi. So um, I'll be there. Um, so I should be there it. unless other unless something happens, right? Yeah, Chris should be there, right? We should. Yeah. We should. Uh, when it actually, um, I I am somehow doing three day zero things on the same day. So yeah, yeah this should be interesting to. for me. That's a lot of running, yeah, because I have other mm-hmm. stuff to do yeah. on on day zero events, and I'm like, you know, it's like I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to wear my my jogging shoes <laughs> to run all over the convention center. Yeah, you know, um, I didn't think about that, but yeah, I could probably bring. Yeah. It'll probably be chillier ish, maybe in San Diego or Los Angeles. Sorry. I don't know. It's been it's been warm, so I don't know. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been kind of warm uh, as of late. So but in October it should be a little cooler, but still warm for those little, literally in a month. That's yeah. when I'm flying out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. So get ops con, make it if you can. Um I'll, I'll be there um in person. So if you can't be there virtually, still open. 
Um, another thing I kind of wanted to bring up, there's kind of this uh, cool tool. Actually, I think you sent this to me, yeah, Chris. No, this, is, this um, is definitely one I recommend it to you. This is, um, and this is like, so for, for those of you who don't know, we're actually, uh, Chris and I are actually in the same team, mm-hmm. technically, right? They, they did some reorg, but like we ended up on the same team anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, under different managers. But, you know, we were in constant communication and, he, and Chris is always sending me things. Um, mm-hmm. And even though I don't respond, Chris, I do take a look at them. And I know this you one, do. <laughs> this, this is how I, I really know like. you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one I really, really like, right? So this is uh, Octopilot from Daily Motion. Right. So um, mm-hmm. a lot of cool stuff coming out from, from companies that are actually doing something like Intuit, right? Like Intuit obviously yeah. has Argo City. Um, and Daily Motion has something called Octopilot, right? And so Octopilot is um, helps you uh, in your GitOps workflow. So um, by managing your pull requests, right? Which so sounds as, as, a little crazy at first, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's essentially but when you read about it, you're like, oh, this makes sense. <laughs> yeah, this makes sense. And it, often, and it actually offers a, uh, a great, uh, it's a great use case. It solves a very, a very great uh, um, use case. Mm-hmm. So essentially what, what this does is it manages your, uh, your PRs and your, um, 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 you know, all, all of your Git workflows. And, yeah. yeah, approvals, all of that via a, um, uh, via CLI or, or, or an API, right? In, 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 uh, in the most cases, right? And it aims to be like a Swiss army knife, right? To propagate changes. So the idea being, um, uh, you know, this example here, right? You, mm-hmm. you know, you, you pass a token obviously and, you, and, and the repo information, but you said, hey, updates is YAML um, with, this, um, um, with this information, right? You can use right. uh, YQ as well. We're mm-hmm. saying, you know, basically regex saying, hey, yeah, you know, Take this stuff, update it like so. And for the workflow, I'm trying to think of a, like a great use case is like image updates, yes. right? Like you're like doing those need to happen behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like yeah. you're updating, you know, you, you do an update, your CI happens, cool. You have a, a new image build, okay? Well, like how do you right. propagate that out? That Argo, because like yeah. you know, essentially Argo acts on a uh, a repo. Mm-hmm. Well, then you know you need to make a PR and manage that, and how do you do that automatically? Um, there is uh, Octopilot that has that, right? Mm-hmm. And it has uh, being able to essentially manage your Git workflows, um, you know, in a GitOps friendly way. So I yeah. think this is really cool. Um, I'm oh, this is one of the neat ones that I was like, oh, I got yeah. some this to Christian. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, this is uh, this is great. And it could uh, actually um, support for manipulating encrypted files as well, which I thought was really, really cool. I'm like, hey, yeah. this is really, really cool. So uh, kudos to the guys at Daily Motion. Um, who one came up with this and two who open source this is great, uh, a great tool. So um, I'm pretty sure you dropped it in the chat already, but this yes, is like I a did. Good thing. Yeah. Um, when you're um, something that can help you when you're when you're automating uh, some of this stuff, right? Some of the some of the things like okay, well, you know, Argo CD acts on a particular branch or a particular Git repo. Mm-hmm. You know, what happens until then, right? Because that's the tail end, right? That's right. the easy part, right. right? Argo City is just applying those manifests. Well, how do uh-huh. I get to there? And this is a, a, a tool that can help you to um, do that as well. Um, and, oh, which is pretty, you know, it's just, it's pretty cool because I actually see this here, the YQ tool, they actually just yeah. like pull in the mm-hmm. actual YQ um, source code, right? So like it, yeah. And uh, YQ is way. to uh, YAML as JQ is to JSON, if you're not yeah. familiar. Yeah. Which I liked. I liked your post that you do it on Twitter. Your like, <laughs> Jason isn't human readable. Jason, you like Jason that? is not human readable. I'm like, thank you. Someone said it. <laughs> Someone responded back with that tweet. It's like, how could you say something so bold yet so yeah, yeah, accurate? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, like which is it's just which is like I'm a I'm a YQ guy. Right, I've always been. Um, but like, oh, yeah, you know, sure. J- Jason isn't meant to be made human readable, but. <laughs> And it's not, it's definitely not, right? <laughs> but some so, people, it's amazing how many people were like, well, I can read it. It was also amazing how many people were like, well, compared to like 20 yeah. year old thing, it's way better. Yeah, I'm like, like, yes, something yeah, yeah, can yeah. be better, better and still be <laughs> not great, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, um, riding a bike is better than walking. It'll get you there faster, but it's mm-hmm. not 
not a speed train, right? For example, right? Right, exactly. So, Brady Silver um, just said, I can read XML. It doesn't make it human readable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can read XML. It doesn't make yeah. it great. <laughs> so, uh, so Octopilot, great, great stuff. So, um, I like I like some of these things that you sent me, Chris. So keep keep sending them. I I will I will do. I have that. a back I have a backlog. So so I, I just got to Octopilot. So there we go. So there you have it. All right. Cool. So today's topic, right? So today's topic, um, talking about uh, OpenShift GitOps version one point two, right? So one point two actually released. I want to say like like a month ago or a couple months ago, uh, no, maybe even more like eight weeks ago. Um, oh wow. Okay. Released right um, and. I kind of want to go over some of the things, uh, sure. the updates we made that, that you know, I, this may seem a little late because 1.3 is actually on the horizon. Uh, <laughs> but like, but, but as you know, Chris, I, we had guests, we had other topics mm-hmm. to cover. Yeah, we only have an hour. So it's, um, but we're finally here. So I kind of want to go over um, uh, some of the things that we came up with, with OpenShift 1.2. Um, uh, OpenShift 1.2 came out with version, uh, Argo version 2.0. Right, so that was like a, a, a major thing that we had mm-hmm. there, like in a major release of, of Argo. Um, and so I want to go over here. I'm looking to um, break the Zoom window with what I'm doing right now, but I'm trying to make it more readable for y'all. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's try to make it. I'll make this a little bigger too. And I'll actually, how do I? Um, Command or it? Control plus plus, yeah. depending upon the device. Yeah. There we go. All right, I'll send you the chat. So I'm actually going to go over nice. um, the release notes, right? Because the release notes is the best way um, so uh, say. for this information, right? <laughs> so, um, so, uh, so support matrix, right? Um, for uh, 1.2, obviously Argo CD is GA. We're still tech preview for with some of the stuff like application set, um, uh, stuff like CAM is still in tech preview. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the get service, which is like the, um, the service that manages cam, right. Cause cam is the, the CLI, but the actual service that manages cam, um, it's still in tech preview. Uh, we haven't talked about cam much we touched on it a little bit because like, there's a lot of stuff still in the air, uh, with cam, maybe I'll invite Bose to come on and, and demo yeah, cam a little cool. bit more, yeah. uh, go a little deeper. Uh, so it's tech preview, right. So meaning that it's not. 100% supported, right? It's the best effort sort of, sort of thing. Not fully baked. Yeah. Works. Not fully baked. I use application set. That should be, I don't know when Pretty that'll be indicating. GA, yeah. but that's, you know, the ACM guys are using application sets in production. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, so uh, some of the new features, right? So uh, one, of the, one of the things that happens when you install the operator, the, op- um, the OpenShift GitOps operator, is that it deploys a default Argo uh, CD instance. Um, so like when you install the operator, like you get like a, um, an opinionated deployment of Argo CD. Mm-hmm. So if you do not want that, you can actually set this environment variable in your subscription and it'll uh, disable that. So essentially it'll just add the CRDs, but it just won't deploy a uh, Argo CD instance. Right. Um, and so you've set that value to true, um, you know it'll uh, it'll prevent that that OpenShift GitOps namespace to be deployed. A uh, little caveat with that though is if you install an Argo CD instance in an OpenShift GitOps namespace, it causes a little weirdness. Oh, so it, yeah, yeah, I would kind of expect that. Yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> if you're gonna disable the default Argo CD instance, do not name your namespace OpenShift GitOps. So, right. but everything else is is cool, right? So. Um, then you can then deploy your own um, um, instance, right, of Argo of, of Argo CD in, in your own way. So um, another good cool feature here is the um, uh, requests and limits are now configured for Argo CD workloads, meaning that um, before there was no um, oh, limits oh, okay. or quotas it it for op- for the actual uh, installation of OpenShift GitOps. Right, so like it was able to consume ah, the entire um, cluster resources. If possible. Yeah, if it wanted yeah. to, right? Yeah. Um, so we we um, we figured it out and capped uh, it. Yeah. Yeah, we capped it. Right. So like all the it, all the components of OpenShift GitOps now has uh, limits 
onto it. And the actual namespace, OpenShift GitOps namespace has a resource quota set to it. Um, this caused a little bit of unforeseen consequences. There was a lot of people who actually were deploying stuff inside of OpenShift GitOps mm. namespace, um, which we never intended, right? right. But we never right. actually told people not to do it. <laughs> but like we 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 assume people right. wouldn't we, we yeah. wouldn't do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, because um, we kind of have that running, well, with the, at least you and I do, um, mm -hmm. that running thing of if it starts with the open shift dash, don't mess with it. Like don't yeah, put don't stuff mess with there. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't put stuff. Yeah. So that's a really good rule of thumb. I think probably Sully says that a lot. Mm -hmm. Um is that uh if it starts with open shift, the namespace starts with open shift, don't put anything in it. So um, so don't put anything in it. That's just, you know, stuff like this happens, right? So, mm -hmm. um, um, so yeah. So then that's 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 it, right? Um, it actually also this caused the issues when you're upgrading from version one point one to one point two, which I'll which is another section, um, which I'll I'll go over in a little bit. So, and then Argo CD authentication is now automated with Red Hat SSO. We we did this the other um, uh, the other stream. Right, last uh, last time stream, a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, before it was a manual manual process, but now you just put uh, you know this spec SSO provider equals key cloak, and then it automatic automatically sets everything up for you. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's nice. so that's really cool. So then you that's can use OpenShift's cool. authentication yeah. to, to log in. So um, before there was no support for route sharding. Um, so for those of you who use oh, OpenShift yeah. and you don't know, you can actually do route sharding. So, um, you know, you can have multiple routers and depending on the application, you can send it to a different um, router. Yeah. Um, our Argo CD didn't know how to handle that. So we added the actual, um, uh, uh, the ability to do route sharding, right? So saying, hey, you know, when your, your routes a match, you know, like everything in Kubernetes, it's a key value pair, mm -hmm. right? So for this Argo CD, you know, put it on these labels. Yeah. Send, it here, right? send it over send here. Send it over here. Yeah. So, um, and this here, this is probably my favorite update um, for OpenShift GitOps. Oh. Um, yeah. And yeah. which is which is part That's of the, the demo I'm going to do, right? So, okay, cool. Um, uh, so now the OpenShift... GitOps operator will automatically grant permissions depending on the label. So that, uh, let me explain what used to happen, right? Mm. So um, there was a cluster resource. There's a cluster Argo CD, right? Which is OpenShift GitOps, which we talked yep. about a little bit about earlier. Um, and it comes with like, I think the ability to only read resources, but not apply it. So then you were, um, it was, it was on the operator to like, you know, you know, um, not the actual big old operator, but, you know, person operator. <laughs> yeah, it was up yeah, to the yeah. admin, I guess I should say. It was up to the admin to set up those RBAC rules, right? Like, what can Argo CD do? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have an opinion on that, right? Like, if you have Argo CD managing your cluster, it needs cluster admin, but a lot of people don't like that. But, yeah. um, um, you know, it's, you know, least, uh, what is it? Uh, the rule of least, least permissions. Privilege. Yeah. yeah, least privilege. Um. So now you can actually, what you can do is you can label your, um, uh, your namespace mm -hmm. um, with this, uh, is it a label annotation? It's a label. So you can label uh, your namespace with saying, hey, um, let this uh, Argo City instance manage me. So, so then Argo City will then do um, the operator will then put the proper permissions in order for Argo City to manage that namespace. So you can kind of have um, this kind of cool situation where um, you could deploy Argo City right with this least privilege, and then um, annotate. Oh, sorry, annotate. Label the namespaces where uh, you want control. So you have. Um, so you can say, hey, I installed Argo City. All right, cool. I want it to manage uh, namespace one, two, three. And then it'll automatically manage those namespaces for you without you having to do anything else. Um, and it won't touch any other namespace. So that's um, uh, this is cool, especially for if you're doing something like um, uh, what we call namespace scoped Argo City, meaning that 
um, there's no uh, there's no cluster Argo CD, but there's like an Argo CD for my specific namespace. And I create another namespace, and I want that Argo CD to manage that namespace. Um, I just label it, and I don't have to do anything else. Um, so this is really cool, and I'll I'll show this in a, in a minute. Um, um, how how this works out because it's actually really really cool. So um, some of the things that were fixed, the um, Let's see, we'll get stuck in out of sync status. Oh yeah, so this um, uh, there's a there's a Jira issue. I don't I don't know if you want to link this or well, if you if you put the um, the link in the chat, uh, people can take a look at that. But um, uh, got it. All right, well, like if a user created additional instance of Argo CD managed by the default instance, some things will just get out of sync, right? Even though it's it's synced up, some of the um, some of the things will will. Uh, will end up in out of sync status. So they, 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 they fixed that, right? So uh, some of the known issues, right? Um, so uh, when you delete an instance, right? The, um, the managed by label um, are not removed, right? So like, so basically when you deploy an Argo CD instance and then you delete it, that annotate, that label still stays in place to um, any namespace that it's managed by. So that, um, so you just kind of just take a note of that, right? Like if you're deleting names, uh, if you're dealing an Argo CD instance, you may want to go back to those namespaces and remove that uh, label. Um, but hey, we'll you know that house. that's getting uh, that's getting tracked. Hey, we'll lead. There we go. It's it's late over there by him or early, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> 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 depending on how you look at it, it's very 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 late or extremely early. So it depends whether you're late to bed or early to rise. Um, mm -hmm. So this is what I was talking about before. The resource quota has been enabled. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, when you upgrade from, uh, um, OpenShift GetOps from version uh, 1.1 to 1.2, mm -hmm. um, some of the applications, uh, was, uh, getting um killed, right? Ooh, because, yeah. yeah. So, um, and then it actually, uh, spun up. It would like, you know, there was a ton of replication controllers that would spin up because, it would spin up and it would get um killed. It would spin up and get um killed. It would spin up and get oh, um killed. Wow. Um, uh, so the, mm -hmm. the 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 transition from one dot one to one dot two wasn't one hundred percent clean. So that was a it was a, uh, a known issue. So, uh, which is why we um, um, say one don't deploy anything in OpenShift GitOps, right? So that's that's one thing. Please don't. Uh, and and two, um, always test your upgrades, right? Don't just like automatically upgrade from one version to another for any yeah. operator, right? Let's not just, um, yeah, like, test it. I mean, make, yeah. make sure you got that dev environment. Yeah, right yeah, now. exactly. Uh, not to say even that if, we even if you're yeah. an ops person, right? Like you should have yeah. a way to test those yeah, operator. Wait to test those, yeah. those operator, but it's a hundred percent. Um, and because like in this instance, we made a mistake, right? Like, yeah. Hey, the, the resource quota we applied made us not be able to upgrade. Right. So like, you're just stuck in this weird, there's like, many versions and like state of limbo, replication yeah. yeah state of limbo it's always always um always bad so um so yeah so that's kind of just kind of the lowdown on the 1.2 release um so let's talk about uh this um uh, uh this update here my favorite update right so let's go back to um managing right managed by so um we'll go to a use case here mm -hmm. So I have an OpenShift cluster, right? All, uh, um, all updated here. So I do. I'm gonna log in as a non-admin, right? Because this um, affects non-admins. Come on, here we go. You can do it. I believe. I believe. Did the cluster get cold? We don't know. Is the cluster running? Don't know. You better catch it. You better click. <laughs> Is your cluster <laughs> running? I don't know. You better catch it. I think it's running. Let's, let's take it here. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's there. Uh, let's just reopen it. Sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't like oh, it. Oh, so braided silver went through the uh, um killing experience. Yeah, that um killing thing is it. It yeah, it happened to customers too. That's so that was it was a <laughs> it yeah. was a fun upgrade experience. Well, Walid asks, would a single node cluster do for like environment upgrades testing? And um, I mean, I maybe yeah. 
if, 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 if the single node cluster is big enough, right? So run the yeah, if the cluster is big enough, and then if it's a close enough representation of production, yes. Like you shouldn't have this pristine single node cluster to test an upgrade for it, right? Like you yeah. need to have like your Argo pipelines, you know, installing operators or it, whatever it is that you have in prod, you should have in that single node cluster too. So that's yeah. going to be a lot of stuff you have to think about. So yeah. I mean, if you really want to make sure operators don't break your environment kind of thing. But yeah. Yeah. So maybe to I need test to... like V1 versus V1.1, it might work. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he, while he does say close enough to production is becoming impossible with time for on prem. And, oh, yeah. That's it's, yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Um, yeah. It's, it, you know, there's trade offs and you got to decide on those for sure. Uh, three node cluster, single node cluster, however you want to test, just just test it, you know. <laughs> yeah, please, sugar on top. Uh, oh, I thought it was a cookie issue, but I don't think it. It's not a cookie issue. Cluster broke? Why... Maybe it is broke. Come on. Well, I mean, it. I wanted to show the UI, but now my cluster is running fine, which is weird because. Hmm. Uh, so it's not a CSV thing, is it? Yeah, look at that. That's it's, weird. uh, let's open up Chrome and see if it works in Chrome. Sometimes it'll work in Chrome. Uh, wait, where is the, is that it? Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm working on another window here. Uh, so Braden Silver says, <clears throat> I think to test if you are at risk for bugs from the upgrade impacting your workloads, you should be able to verify that by replicating on a single node cluster. I'll tell you if you'll hit a, it'll tell you if you'll hit the bug, but you won't see a realistic replication of what would happen in production if it happened. Yeah, like you won't know the impact. You yeah. just know thing happened with operator. And yeah, not things necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily the the you know after effect. That's a very good point. So it actually works on Chrome. So I'll just bring that over here. Okay. All right. So here I am, developer. Right as you see here. Mm -hmm. Make this a little bigger. Thank you. Um, developer. So I'm not I'm not an admin. Right. So here, um, uh, uh, I'm gonna go over like how to create a a, a namespace scoped Argo CD. Um, so for, for this here, I actually have, um, get operator. This is, this is the admin view operators, right? I have the OpenShift GitOps operator installed, right? So it installs all the CRDs. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's just, I did that as an admin, but now as, as a developer, um, I'm able to, um, uh, create my own Argo CD instance that manages my own namespace. Right. So um, let me copy login command here. Um, I won't do a sully. But this is a temporary <laughs> and show my show my key to the world. Um, uh, that's kind of funny. Um, that is that is funny. If you guys can watch that episode, it's great. Um, I don't <laughs> I don't care about this token because this, this cluster is short lived. I, this is this why cluster, yeah. this is why I do temporary clusters. Like same. Uh, you, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're, everything you're, gets you're blown not, away after my demos nowadays. Yeah. All right, cool. So if I do OC, who am I? I'm developer, right? Um, OC get projects, no resource found, right? So in the UI, you can add a, create a project here. Let's call this, uh, what is this demo or test? Actually, uh, let's see here. Give me a good name for us here. Um, get ops wonder test. Wonder test, all right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What Wonder test, I like wonder test. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's create that. Um, so once I create that, I can deploy my own version of, uh, of Argo CD for my namespace here. Uh, I think you can do it. Um, the best way I found of doing it is actually... Plus. Yeah, the little plus button and then porting the YAML. So let's, let's oh. um, maybe do a, a cat of Argo CD of this YAML, right? Um, Right, so some of the things um, 
I probably should take out move this to wonder that, yeah. test. There we go. Um, you know, some of the things, you know, um, application set, right. I'm going to play application set. Um, you know, some of the things I don't really care about is Grafana, right. Mm. Or anything like that. Um, H A, no. uh, I don't care about. So, uh, but some of the things here, resource customizations, yeah. um, so I'll probably do an entire episode of just resource customizations. Oh, okay, um, cool. And uh, this here, you know, like if I am going to do sealed secrets, there's a, there's a bug with sealed secrets about it'll never, it oh, sealed, okay. the sealed secret operator doesn't return a proper health check like every resource, right? I think it returns like an empty string or something. Um, so I kind of just say, hey, if there's an empty string, that means it's good. Um, <laughs> basically ignoring the health, um, right. and then routes for OpenShift. Since I like to keep um, my routes agnostic, meaning that I, I keep my my host field empty, ah, uh, okay, and let the route create the route. So, um, so instead of it not being out of sync, I will I'll just say, hey, just ignore this difference, right? Like, basically, don't track this. Right. Um, ignore differences is great. Right for uh, for things like operators, where mm -hmm. like it has its own controller doing things that it auto fills, right? Right. So, um, and then uh, the the health checks are also great. I'll do an entire episode about resource customization. This is a great topic. Um, cool. Do things like resource exclusion, right? Um, so, kind of just this is kind of like a standard Argo CD um, deployment. Uh, how do I? create down at the bottom yeah so uh, no actually i think um i think there's i'm trying to find the um uh argo cd operator one thing that you guys can help us out with 100 oh. percent is oh uh, here we go here, i'll put this in the chat for you chris cool is Thanks. documentation Ooh, yeah always need help with documentation folks like it, it doesn't matter what the project is Doc what the project is need help Wait, you're yeah. sharing your screen as paused. I don't want to pause. What? What's that about? Can you see my screen? Yeah. I don't know if it's doing anything, though. All right. I'm going to close the tab. Can you okay. see that? No. No. Okay. How do I unpause it? Mm -hmm. it says you're sharing. Start and stop again. Turn it off. Turn there it back go. on. There we go. Is that better? No. Well, I just figured out. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's a. All right. How's that? <laughs> Great. <laughs> all right. There's. I, I was looking through the settings and like I'm like, where is it? And like, there's a big button that says resume. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I missed the big button. All right. Yeah. Um... <laughs> no. Someone. It's funny. Someone sent me an email and they had like red text and like that was an action item and I didn't. Like I completely glossed over it because I thought it was yeah. like part of yeah. an image or something. I was like, yeah, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. completely missed that yeah. one. Sorry, completely missed the big button. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I put that in the chat, Chris, so you can share. But um, yeah, that is the me, uh, um, apparently didn't want to go to restream, so let me put it over there. Yeah. So by the way, you know, people always ask, well, how do you get this configuration? It's like, you know what, you're you're completely right. Some some of our documentation is lacking especially with Argo CD. So if you are a really good technical writer and want to contribute to open source, you are golden. I'll tell yeah, you that right now. A lot of, uh, yeah, very welcome. Um, so here, so I can if create. If you are a technical writer that wants to contribute yeah. to open source, I have an right. endless amount of work that you could do. That's right. I have an endless <laughs> amount of work. There is There's people, countless uh, projects that need help that I know of. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. So, um, so uh, here, let's go to, uh, I've, I've rarely in the developer, um, uh, let's go to uh, deployments. Come on. Did I what? spell that right? You're in wonder oh. test. Yes, I'm in wonder test. Okay. Deployments. Deployment. There it is. There it is. Okay. All right. So then. See, uh, but it says deployments plurally. I see why you typed that. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's deployment. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, so this here, um, you know, it deploys uh, an application. 
that's Argo City, right? So if I OC get uh, pods, uh, oh wait, I'm not uh, OC project. What is it? Wonder test. There we go. Um, that's running. If I say OC get Argo CD, right? I can list my Argo CD instance, which is hello get ops, right? Um, and I do OC get um, uh, get pods. No, sorry, get secrets. And then the secret here is, da, 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 I think it's I think it's this one. So OC get secrets. This guy. Yeah, so um, so here usually you have to base 64 decode it. Not if you're using OC, right? So this is pretty cool. If you do OC extract, oh, yeah. uh, secret, uh, hello, get ops cluster, and then uh, I think it's dash dash two, a dash, right? There it is. There you um, go. So there you go, this will. This will do that base 64 decoding for you, so which I think is pretty cool. Uh, where's fancy? If I do OC get routes, wonder okay. test. <laughs> Gotta love wonder test. <laughs> you uh, needed something. I needed two, something. Two words provide. came to mind. <laughs> well, we used to do um, back uh, if for 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 those of you been watching. Um, Red Hat streaming, which it used to be called OpenShift TV. Mm -hmm. When we first started, right, we started, we started doing like Star Wars character, but like you run out of names so quick, right? Like by the, yeah. by the third stream, you run out of names. Um, all right. So this is um, Argo CD that is to my specific namespace. So if I go, let's try to deploy something here. Let's do, um, let's do something simple. Uh, does the Argo community use tags like first time issue, help verify technical details, things like that? It should, yeah, like a good first okay. issue, right? Yeah, I think it's yeah. one of those things. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's do the blue, the blue deployment. Yeah, if they, if they don't, they should. Yeah. Um, so let's deploy here. So new application. Um, oh, wait. So I have, so this is like one, one of the things that I do. And I think it's 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 good uh, good practice, right? I keep if I do OC get pods. Mm -hmm. I keep my GetOps controller and where I'm deploying to in different namespaces. And so um, oh yeah 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 yeah. So if I do an OC a uh, new oh no it's, not new, it's a new project. Let me clear this OC new project. Uh, they'll call this um, Humpty Squat. Uh, squat. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do squat. Okay. All right. So now we have this 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 application here. Um, do I do a namespace on this here? Hold on. Route. No. Overlays. Uh, not the overlays. I like it when you go to your notes. <laughs> yeah. And then let's pin this here. Um, makes it easier to navigate. So to, to, I do have a namespace. I don't want namespace. So what? What? I, I changed this earlier. Uh, is it this one? This one has a namespace. So, but by the way, um, this is a the reason why you never put the namespace in in the in the YAML manifest, right? You always put it in the customize right. um, controller because now now you get a situation like me where I can't find something that has no namespace in it. Um, <laughs> uh, UDK group. I, th I thought I put this here. Hold on. Overlays. Space. I did put namespace. Okay. Uh, all right. Screw it. Do you want to do a find? I, I can show you all a trick real quick. No, find space dot name. Um, no, I probably... seriously. You can do it. You Hit dot. Hit period on your keyboard. Oh, dot like this. Yeah. Yeah. And then you should, so this uh... will set up a web editor. And yeah, you can VS then use code. The find function. Ah, uh -huh. what is that? Control, uh, control F. Well, it, it's a Oops. the looking glass over there on your screen, but yeah. Yeah, where is it? Uh, Left hand side, see. second one down. Oh, this guy. Duh. Yeah. Okay. See, uh, look, you can search the whole repo there. Oh, yeah, everything has a namespace. Uh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't say it was going to be easy. I didn't say it was going to be easy. <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, this will help. 
actually, let's uh, let's do this. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone here. All right, here we go. Let's go back here. All right, so I have uh, this repo here. This is a private repo. Um, okay. Meaning you can't see it. Um, and I think this one I do not put. Oh, I did put namespace. BGD blue. All right, let's uh, let's go back here. I'm gonna say screw it. All right, OC delete project. Sorry, Chris, we're not gonna use that. Uh, so we're not gonna use squat. We're gonna use BGD. Next okay. time, Chris. All right. <laughs> so project BGD, right? So then let's um, and let's deploy. We're gonna deploy the blue guy. Cool. Uh, so let's take this. All right. So now um, I'm gonna create a new app. I'm gonna call this uh, uh, you know BGD. Blue, BGD. Yeah. Okay. Blue project default. Uh, let's do manual whatever that means. Uh, repository URL, this guy. And then uh, the path is kind of easy. There we go. Blue, BGD, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, blue, right? Cluster, this guy, and namespace BGD, right? Well, which should have created. So I created this namespace. I own this Argo CD instance and mm -hmm. its namespace. I own the BGD namespace as well. But when I click create, um, come on. You can do it. Oh, project. Wow, oh, that helps. Right. It'll be create um, status. is. Uh, I get an error, right? Because um, I can't manage that that namespace. Oh. Right. From, from this, right. from my namespace here, right? So uh. Uh, the new version of GitOps, um, I can label my namespace with the managed managed by managed by oh nice yeah and so okay. um where source namespace is a namespace with the argo city instance is deployed so i can do something like cool. oc um da, 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 oc uh, edit namespace of bgd right and then we put uh is a label right now annotation label i it's label, always yeah. there, there should be but I don't think we have a consensus of like when something's a label versus when something's a, um, uh, what's Annotation. the name of that project? Yeah. 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 OC get. I Where'd you uh, put Argo? I put it in wonder test. That's right. Wonder test. Oh, geez. Well, I already forgot the name. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was so like, oh be, God, where did you pick better put names? It? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, you didn't put it in open shift. Get yeah. Up. So what it, wonder yeah. name. So I say, <laughs> Uh, Argo CD managed by Wonder. So I'm saying my namespace is managed by this Argo CD instance that's a, here. Yeah. That's so once, making the association here. Cannot pass. Uh oh. Just namespace BGT. Oh. Did it again? Wait. Did I, did, 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 oh, I think I need to do that as. Uh, you have to do it as a namespace owner. Oh, I can't. Uh, OC. Uh, User project. developer cannot list namespaces in API group. <laughs> Let's see, OC edit project. I think I can do it that way. I think this is the, the open shift way of doing it. Either that or I could just do it as, as admin. Um, what's the... That guy. There we go. The space, there you go. Please edit the project. The field is immutable. What? What? Try updating the namespace. Oh, okay. So it actually your wants me to do it. Yeah. In my face. Okay. But you just did this. Yeah. Wonder test. <laughs> I think I may have to do this as an admin. All yeah, I was about. Yeah. Okay. Da, da, da. Okay. So what I can do is I can do OC. Um, the OC delete. Oh, wait, that won't work. No, because you can't. If you can't edit it, you can't. Muck with it at well, all. I, I wonder as a as a regular user, can I create a namespace? If you, you should, let's see. Access. Let's try it. Right. Think. Uh, do, do, do. We'll create a new one. Oh, yeah, I think I have to go through the project. OC. No, new. it deleted. Deleted. It says deleted. Can I do? Let's see what I hate. By... Okay, uh... so let's do this. OC. Uh, create namespace uh, dry run equals client dash o yaml um, bgd 
rpg.yaml. So I created the YAML, okay. right? And then it's metadata labels, right? Yeah. We don't know. We'll try it. Uh, wonder, wonder test. test. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. OC create dash F. Uh, create. Oh, I can't believe I didn't catch that. Yeah, it didn't. Uh... Yeah, no, you that's weird. What did you, did you do something weird to the? Yeah, I, I think, I think, yeah, I think I broke it, but let's see. <laughs> <if> it... <laughs> I'm going to do it as. I, um... I'm pretty sure I broke this. Yeah. But we uh, y'all love it. Uh, Christian breaking stuff. Oh, me dropping stuff. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll see. I'll see. Get. Uh, oh, wait. We'll see. So this is another. Uh, this is an admin command, by the way, here. Uh, what mm -hmm. I'm going to do. So I'd OC uh, create. Ooh, OC ADM new project. And then you can do uh, admin equals uh, developer. And then BGD. And then I should be able to see OC project BGD. Yeah, I'm already on project BGD. OC project. It's already there. OC get pods. There's no pods there. OK. Uh, OC, and I'll apply. Okay, cool. Uh, so now if I do OC get project BGD dash O YAML, I should see, there we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> now I added the label. I don't know what I did wrong. I'll, I, I, I'll, uh, I got nothing. I don't when, know. When, when I look back, I'll see that's what I did. And then I'll, mm -hmm. I'll mention in the next stream. So tune in for the next stream. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that label's there. Right, and then now, um, now I I would have to uh, refresh. Oh, come on, you can do it. Oh, so come sync on, that. come on. Sync error, still the same. Yeah, come on, let's go. You can. Uh, there it is. It's doing something. Something's going on. How do I terminate? Okay, so it's already. Uh, managed by Hit refresh again. Oops. Yeah, sometimes this takes a little while to. If you do a uh, control shift R, maybe that maybe something's in your cache on your browser. I don't oh, know. maybe yeah. Let's do something. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at my other configuration. Because uh, I do have this working here. Da, da, da. This is my CI CD demo, which I'll go over in another stream. But um, <laughs> oh, this is, yeah, managed by. OK, so I do have that label. Managed by, then I have uh, do I do anything else? Oh, these are the applications, so they would have to be under my tenant. Cargo CD. Oh, um, yeah, I think I missed something. Hold on. Ooh, okay. Did, uh, uh. Yeah, I needed to create a cluster role. Um, mm hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, although I thought that should have been created automatically. Automatically. Let's go. OC. Um, oh wait. I have to go. Now, now I'm. I'm an admin. OC get uh, cluster role binding. Cluster role binding. And then grep Argo. Overshift operator controller. Okay. So that's that controller. Um, uh, what do we call it? Well, uh, wonder, wonder, wonder test. 
Yeah. Uh, no. So this, it, oh, did we find a bug? So why does this work? I do this declaratively and it works, but like when I do it manually, it doesn't. Interesting. Um, well, wonder if you declare it, of course it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have. Uh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's by design or not. Yeah. So let's let's just copy. Let's just copy this right for the sake of demo. Yeah. That should have worked, but I will. Um, I'll check with the engineers. They always they love hearing from me. Um, <laughs> um, our back. So I was doing this thing live once. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Uh, we don't need this annotations. Uh, we'll call this uh, wonder. Right? This is going to be your prefix for everything now. Yeah. Argo CD. We don't need this uh, annotations. Uh, wonder. <clears throat> wonder. And it, okay, so this is the part I need to know. Uh, OC get a uh, service account. Oops. Oh, it's a project. Wonder test. And I am looking for Argo CD application controller. This guy here. <laughs> so I was doing this thing live once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oops, OC get. Uh, no, wait, I already know what it is. It's Wonder test. Yes. Okay. So cluster role, cluster role binding, OC apply. Let's see if this makes it work. Grady Grave. Okay. Okay. Let's... There goes nothing. There goes nothing. All right. It's hard refresh. Okay. Let's try to sync it. Sinker. Dang that. Yeah, when it's uh, this is the problem. See, see, this is the problem oh. with having end of day shows. Nothing goes yes, right, right this week. Nothing goes Nothing right. Nothing is going right <laughs> this week on our end of day shows. So this funny. is right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, huh, interesting. Well, because it's weird because um, because it does work, quote unquote. I wonder what I did wrong. Because now it's just a matter of like figuring out yeah the what steps i did apply the one yeah one of yeah one of the things one of the things about GitOps is like you do it once and you forget about it because it's in a repo mm. um because mm -hmm. i do have a working working demo here uh da, 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 so tenants so argo cd so rollback so i did the rbac right oh no this is for something else uh oh boy our back. There we go. This just on the next episode of GitOps Guide to the Galaxy. So I did that. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. On the next episode. <laughs> well, the next episode we're talking about this directory structure that I created. We'll talk about yeah. directory structures. But uh, see the production. Yeah. It's so a managed by. So I got that. We can't go um, long. It doesn't matter, man. Tenants. Actually, demo. Maybe I should just deploy this demo so I can just show you. Yeah. Um, Maybe it's Wonder Test. That's what's doing it. Yeah, the, it, we back. picked the wrong name. We picked Wonder Test. There's some, uh, there's something hard coded in OpenShift that says Wonder is for the <laughs> only or something. Yeah, exactly. When you, when you, I have a funny, I have a funny story about that. Um, we used to, um, this is I'm running Solaris back in, yeah. in, you know, um, we would collect and delete uh, core dump files. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally which, normal thing to have to which, do. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but like, so we hired like this development team uh, to develop like some point of sale thing. Okay. And they have like folders in their application, right? Like, so they did a Git clone, and mm -hmm. one of their folders for their application is called the core, right? <laughs> I see so, like, nothing the... good coming of this. <laughs> so like the web <laughs> website went down. Website went down. I was like. Well, what? Well, like, why did the website here goes? Why is this directory keep getting deleted? I was like, oh, because we collect, <laughs> you know, we collect things that start with core, right? So, like, right. if you do like core dash something, it'll, 
anyway so that's oh my god the, so amazing. by the way you, so you're joking about the wonder test so like <laughs> crazy things have happened right <laughs> that's amazing uh, that is amazing uh uh did a roll binding uh oh this is interesting um i got nothing on man i mean i uh, did our back did our back twice now at, at least so the name space is art did mm. yeah but like now i'm just doing what the operator should be doing right, right. uh our back two because then now what i'm doing is i'm just giving admin access um to okay. that namespace right yeah to the user yeah but like i'm, I'm already admin on welcome user, dev right? that's what you have in here you yeah wonder test yeah no it, it should be uh bgd right in this case yeah bgd that's right sorry uh we don't need this annotations right um right but i'm already admin so like this will I mean, this I'm just doing this weird. just because I'm just trying everything, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, like this. Um, I named admin, it wrong, but I mean. It, well, yeah. I'm dev. Yeah, sure. But I'm already admin on there. So like this, you know, this shouldn't. We can look at the yep. operator logs and see why it's not. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to admin. Uh, uh, OC get uh, OC pro project. Open ship, get ops. Mm -hmm. Let's do OC get pods. OC logs of the application controller. Uh, this gives me nothing. Let's do okay. less. Okay. Blah blah blah. Uh, custom resource definition. Ignore status. Yeah, just kind of this allocation. Mm. Just kind of go on, kind of. C go level things here. Mm -hmm. Garbage yeah, collection. That's what it looks like. Garbage collection sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Nothing of value. Uh, let's try mm. this guy. I forget which uh, GitOps. Maybe it's GitOps server. I forget which one they, they logged this under. Listening on 8080. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay, well, I'll try the, oh, well, maybe it's, you know, the repo server, the repo server, um, I should do another episode of what each one of these components does. That that would be um, cool, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is just same thing. Yeah, same thing. And then uh, the repo server Get is actually, server? That's the one I just did. Yeah, that, yeah. Right? that was the so, yeah. garbage. And then the, the repo server is actually the controller that um, communicates with the Git repo. Right. Maybe there's something there. Oh, there could be something broken and off there. Maybe I don't know if it's private. You said it was private, right? Uh, no, no. Okay. Not this one. Uh, let's just say. Yeah, nothing. Nothing no. standing out, and it's just regular. Yeah. As if. As if it did nothing, which right, which is which is That's what we're experiencing. <laughs> right, <laughs> that that it didn't do what it what it said it was going to do. Mm. Um, so that's strange. Okay, cool. Well, at least um, we have a recorded, and I could just say, tell the engineers, oh hey, this by is the way, happened. by the way, this is this happened. Tell me why. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that whole thing. Um, so. Uh, all right, so we will. Uh, so I'll move on to the next thing I wanted to to talk about. Okay. Uh, which which isn't um, which I'll actually I'm not going to use this one. I'm actually going to go back to the admin. We'll see get routes, and then use my um, uh, repo server. There we go. This is my um, my Argo CD. my uh, cluster Argo CD uh, server. So let's go to OC get secrets. This should be relatively quick. Uh, OC X oh, track a secret of my cluster to, oops. 
I can spell. Two equals dash. You can do this. I can do this. You know, the last stream of the week, man. It's always. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Is it, it is the last. Is, uh... <laughs> there we go. All right. So this All is. Right. Um... So let me close this. Uh, and close this crash and burn stuff. Um, so I have this private repo. Mm-hmm. Right. So like, if you want, if if you want, um, if you want to do. Chris, if you want to verify this for me, you can send that to everyone. You should get a, a, a four. 404, right? Yeah, like here, right? I'm not logged yeah. in here. I get the, uh, this is not the repo you're looking for um, sort of but thing. it is, I promise. Yeah, <laughs> but it is there because it's private, right? And so right. This, I have a private repo and there's a few ways to do this. Um, um, one is, uh, when you set up your configurations. So here, if you go to your settings mm-hmm. and you go to, uh, repositories, there's a two ways you can do this, right? So you can connect using HTTPS, mm-hmm. right. And just give the URL and give your username and password. Um, and that'll work. Right. Um, it even works for private, meaning like a hosted Git GitHub, right. If you have like a hosted GitHub server, you just put in your TLS secret there and it'll use that. Um, this won't work for me because I have two factor authentication. So that won't work for me. Yeah. Um, so I have to do using SSH. Right. And so, um, okay. So if if I do SSH here, um, I just put that by the way, dot Git actually matters if you're using GitLab. Yes. So there's actually amazing when it doesn't and does. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, (laughs) so in GitLab, you have to put the dot get because it does a uh, a three hundred two, and Argo mm-hmm. CD doesn't handle those. Like it'll say, a re- can access repo, right? So when yeah. in doubt, put the dot, put the dot yeah. get. Oops, it's in the wrong place. It's right here. Repository URL, and I'll do this here. Uh, pri- private uh, BGD, and this here I will. I absolutely will not do a sully. I'll I'll do this off screen. Thank you. Um, because this is this is my private. Uh, your private SSH key, so the, the one that you're mm-hmm. yeah you're not supposed mm-hmm. to show anyone. Um, and this here, I will cry if, if it gets out. So, um, oh yeah, like it's... you know why? Like I don't share my screen too often, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, there we go. Um, so once you add, you know, uh, the Git repo. Mm-hmm. And you do a, uh, did I clear my screen here? Yes, I did. Okay, I could put this back up here. Um, mm-hmm. It'll have successful, right? So when you see this, that means it's successfully connected. So you, cool. you, you know it's, so then you can actually go here and, um, you know, you have. Uh, private BGD, uh, default sync policy manual, right? Repository. And then uh, let's, let's deploy the blue. Actually, let's do BGD. Blue. Okay. Right in the cluster, right in the MCS uh, BGD, right? And you create mm-hmm. it. Um, you know, I should say out of sync pretty soon. Yep. Right. And when I sync it, it'll actually go um go and sync that. Nice. Right. Look at that. It, it's syncing. It's in progress, right? So you can do it uh, with SSH in your private repo, right? Um cool. if you don't want to do it with SSH. And you want, but you also don't want to do a username and password. You can do, actually do it with tokens. Mm-hmm. Um, so the way that looks here is, um, let's go back to the repo in this uh, repositories. Let's actually delete this. Right, yeah, delete it. And then if I refresh here, it'll go unknown state, right? Because I can't, you know, I right. can't. It, yeah. it doesn't let no, me connect no to that repo. Yeah. There's no connection to that repo. So it gets a four um, just like the rest of us. Just like the rest of us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so here, another way of doing this, if you go into your settings uh, and yeah. you go into, uh, where is it? Um, they move it, I feel like. Manage access, second one down. So manage access. And then yeah, don't here, this show guy the password. Here. Yeah, show the password. Manage no, it's, uh, it's actually. Oh I think it's actually in my settings over here. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Developer settings. Yeah. And, 
tokens, right? Yep. So here again, off screen, I'm going to generate a token. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Actually, well, oh, you could have. So I mean, you could do it on this, screen and burn it. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's call this Argo. Um, which I think this is pretty cool. Sorry. You can actually set expiration dates now on your tokens in, in mm -hmm. GitHub before these used to Very be forever. Handy. Yeah, no, yeah. and like you would. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, you would forget so, yeah, that you yeah. had this token. Yeah, you have them. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. All, all of a sudden, stuff can still yeah. do stuff in your repo. You kind of <laughs> yeah, can, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and give it permission. So I can probably use someone will, will tag me later, hit me up on Twitter yeah. or email least or whatever. Yeah. Whatever the least restrictive is, I haven't found it yet. I just basically do all, all, I just do the full control of private repositories because I haven't found. A combination that works right. yet yeah. um, but if you can get like a read only or a, a, a clone only um setting just let me know right and then i'll generate token here off screen mm -hmm. okay we'll uh copy that my copy buffer copy okay and then uh cool so then now i have a token here awesome um and then here you can do uh, same thing, right? So go to repositories, repositories create H HTTPS, right? So you just ah. do an HTTP username. It just, you can put whatever username you want, as long as it's not clear. Uh, it's not, so it's not, it, so it's expecting anything, not empty string. So you okay. can do like not, not used, right? You can do whatever you want, right? You could, yeah. you know, uh, you know, foo, you can do uh, barf, right? Oh, it's uh, yogurt, whatever, right? Yeah. Um, uh, Spaceballs the mask. Yeah, this is not actually i won't mess around i'll just put not used right and the password is your token right so right. just okay. put your token as the password and Me then for the own. repo um how do i go back 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 back, back yeah, i'm gonna burn the token anyway so no matter this token will not exist all right so you can just put in uh this repository url and then uh connect and unable to the repository authentication required. Well, I already did that. Wait. Did I put yeah. the right token in? Unable to connect to HTTP repository. Mm. Do you need the doc yet? Oh, maybe. Or do you need your username in there? No, I did this as not used last time. Huh. Okay. Let's go to the docs because I actually um, Argo CD. Because the docs. Connect repo using HTTPS, enter credentials. Mm -hmm. Access token. Okay, because you name it, you must access token following instructions to get the GitHub. Then connect repository using any non empty string as username and access token value as the password unless i am hold on let me look at my copy buffer oh crap okay i messed up the token well well to make a new one <laughs> yeah <laughs> let, me recreate, let me recreate this token Let me get off. I can't see. Hopefully, someone will no. tell me if it's no one can see it. Thankfully, I understand. I delete this token. Generate new token. New token. Full access. Generate. Oh, I had a space when I copied that. Oh, that'll okay. do it. That'll do it. All right, let's, let's go back. Uh, all right, let's see here. Let's see if connect. Come on. There we go. There we so go. That, so that was the issue. I had a space in my when I copied the, um, the token. <sighs> Always something. Always oh, something. So here it is actually using. So you do a, a non uh, non empty string for username, as it says in the in the docs. Mm -hmm. um, and your token as the password. And I think this is probably what most people will want to do. I like using SSH, but for some reason, some, um, uh, some organizations don't allow that. Forget, not sure why, 
whatever. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> but you can use your token. So here, um, uh, let's see when I do to do, do refresh, should this work? Oh, actually, uh, this might not work. What's the error? Uh, the error is probably it's looking for a repo that doesn't exist. Yeah, it still thinks yeah. it's using SSH. So let's create a new app. Uh, VGD green. Yeah, there you go. Manual, whatever manual is. Uh, green. And then cluster URL namespace uh, is VGD uh, green. Hang on tight. There we go. So it's out of sync. That means I can connect to the, uh, the repo. All right. Yeah, right. objects, yay. Objects, yay. So that, that's a, a way to connect to your private repos is uh, one through SSH, right? Through the mm -hmm. adding the private key, username and password, right? So you can upload that. If you don't want to upload your username and password, you can use a token. Um, you just use the same mechanism as a username and password. You mm -hmm. will um, put non empty string as username and the password, you just put the token in, making sure you don't copy the space. When you copy your token, <laughs> that helps. that's an important that's an important thing. <laughs> don't don't do what I did, but minor um, detail, minor detail. But but uh, but I fail because so that way you guys don't fail. Sorry, right. so there you I, go. You can there you you use go. me as uh, uh, as an example of of don't fail. So uh, that's it, right? I guess uh, two out of three ain't bad, right? No, that's um, not bad. I'll take it. <laughs> we got we got two out of three demos done. Um, and, and if you were in baseball, so. you'd be doing amazing right now. That's right, right. I'm batting, <laughs> batting 750s, or what would that be? 600 six, is not six, bad, right? 600, 660, yeah, 600. Six, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, 667, so, yeah. 667 or whatever it is. That's mm -hmm. a, Yeah, that's like I'd, next I'd level be in the majors. Major leagues. Right. Yeah. I'd be major league, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next level major league playing, yeah. Yeah. All right, team. awesome. Cool. Thank cool. you, Christian. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Yeah, thank we you, everyone. appreciate it, and uh, we hope that you appreciated this uh, series of demonstrations. As always, catch up with us by subscribing to the streaming calendar. You can always talk to us on Discord if you are got a question or anything. Feel free to ping me, uh, short at redhat.com, and I can get an answer for you. And uh, I'm also on Twitter at Chris Short. Yep, I'm uh, Christian H814 on Twitter or uh, Christian at redhat.com, right? I actually got that email. Wow, good for you. Christian, Christian at redhat.com, I will, uh, which probably makes me like stay here forever, right? Because now I, you're well, stuck. Yeah. Now I'm stuck because I got the cool email. I got my first name. So um, <laughs> <laughs> never yeah, I never want to give this up. So uh, go ahead, hit, uh, hit us up. Um, Discord is probably the best place. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, catch us on there. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Yeah, awesome. Stay safe out there, folks. Thank you. Yep. Cheers.